Alright, 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 back at it again with another Apex Daily Mission here on Mass Effect Andromeda's Multiplayer. This is your operator, Zeus for Omega, reporting for duty and for today's daily mission is gather resources on gold. Once again, return back to Firebase Zero, dealing with the outlaws, and once again, go for the eyes for the modifier. That's right, plus 200% of weapon weak point bonus, but negative 50 on weapon damage with the awesome reward of plus 10% of experience credits across the board. 10 mission funds. Let's get this goal started, but first, character load out. So I'm rocking with the human soldier, level 19, hopefully hitting 20 after this match. Rocking the double paw, siphon concussive, grenade capacity, target and VI, and incendiary ammo. Screw it. Artificer. I'm rocking incendiary. It helped. It might help if you're picking me up. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a pickup? 30, that was 30 damage resistance? That's not very much. I'll go with Berserker. Um, and I guess Nova, just because. Because Nova's the shit. Oh, it's a armor. Definitely not shield cost. You going systematic or systematic? Hmm. Uh, Nova. I know there's a shield power. Um, one the other one that knocks enemies down. Yeah, the fifty percent. Yeah. Yeah, I went with that one. Nice. Just because the shield thing, uh, I don't know. I can't seem to get it to work. Not patient enough. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever is. <laughs> to get a little, sh you know, you gotta like get a little bit of your shield left. Left or I don't know. Well, Play if they had the health regen back like in ME three for the Krogans and Batarians, they will be a. a oh lot yeah. Mm. How many times do you see Krogan being played on platinum? Like hardly ever. When I'm doing stupid shit, that's Cause the it's time I'm not. Not as good. Yeah, like... Yeah, the Krogan on ME3 was... That was a true tank. That was a I mean, those things aren't yeah. supposed to die. No, they're supposed to take what, a beat. Why did they make it all going. soft? Yeah, exactly. Like, just because one's an engineer and another one's a biotic, you gotta make it, like, a feather. To me, that shouldn't no, make <laughs> <just laughs> <makes laughs> sense. Is like their rage, mm -hmm. their health regen. It goes, goes against the whole. Yeah. It's one thing. It goes up. It goes to final tweaking, and the game should have been longer development, only than eighteen months. It's a good game, but a few more months, maybe another six, uh, it would have been a yeah. good game with a little bit of polish and here and there. But hopefully, Stay after sharp. um, what's the name of that game? Be nice. Anthem. I am them. Yeah. They're gonna take the, yeah. the engine mm. yeah, that and everything from that one and they're porting it over to the next mm. uh Mass Effect and Dragon Age, so hopefully similar mechanics. Oh, yes. I would like to see how the cast and how much missile will be with that. Hmm? Yeah, how much you wanna bet like about the shooting mechanics and the way like the game feels is gonna be very similar to uh this game, Andromeda. Like they can't say, oh yeah, you know, we took some of the things from Andromeda. Like they don't even mention Andromeda. It's like Actually, a bad they word. They do mention a lot of stuff from Andromeda. <laughs> the creativeness, the really? sound of mechanics, and all that. They've done that in interviews and stuff I've seen on YouTube. And they do mention it quite oh, often wow. in the tweets too. But most of the time, it's like, hey, don't let Def it defending it or defending oh, it and yeah. learning from the mistakes. That's the key point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, learn from the yeah, right. Good gameplay mechanics. Good just was not much in anything else. Yeah, the combat. I mean, the combat. Nobody uh, actually had a complaint about the combat. Yeah, everyone's all actually raising it. All they, all they complained yeah. about was, like, cosmetic shit. I'm like, that could be easily yeah, fixed with patches. 
Like, but people always say, exactly. oh, you look weird, blah, blah, blah. You're going like on day one stuff. Stuff that got fixed within the patch within the first week. I don't see people talking so much shit how bad Battlefield 1 is. I remember um, Watch Week, it was a piece of shit. Glitches out the ass, almost unplayable. <laughs> yeah, really? I heard that. <laughs> Worse than <laughs> And I'm seeing like these glitch complications on the freaking YouTube. I'm like, and I'm like, it might be. People praise this game. I'm like, how? I'm looking at it. Like, something's worse around launch than any other thing I've seen. Because they shit. My I don't know, guys. I may. I I may not even get Anthem now and just go all um, Call of Duty Black Ops. <laughs> I was thinking of picking up Call of Duty. <laughs> no, Anthem, they really put As a like streamer, that. I would do that. I would pick that up, yeah. That's gonna be <laughs> fucking popular as hell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, another battle. A chance to get in early. Another Call of Duty with uh, freaking Battle Royale mechanics in it. Oh, yeah. We're doing one map with all our maps combined all into one. Yeah, all it tells me, I'm like. How much memory and RAM are they pushing the device for that not to fuck up or glitch out like day one and like they had it to battle for? Their beta went pretty well apparently. They pushed it up to a hundred players in one game. Hmm, I gotta check that out then. Cause I heard it was just 50 and 50. Yeah, the last three hours they ramped it up. They went up to 80. And then like 88, and then the last three hours Sources before the beta ended, they went up to 100. Find and recover that data. And it's coming out in November. I'll what? sit in there. Uh, soon, yeah, real soon. It's a Call of Duty game. This comes out in November. What was the date? Beginning or towards the end of the month? Um. I don't know. Because Fallout's coming out I'm on the 14th. I have the center of the minute. Or dead center of the month. Fallout, so yeah, I know they moved Battlefield next to Fallout. It's right around that same time. So it's coming out before that. Battlefield or Call of Duty? Uh, Call of Duty is going to come out before Battlefield. Because they moved Battlefield but real close to Fallout. So I really want to know. I think yeah, it's going to be October. Be you know what? Yeah, it, it's October it's because it's coming out. Yeah, because it's coming out when um, Red Dead comes out. That's then it's going to be on the 26th of October then. Red Dead comes out. On the yeah, 26th. it's like within a week or yeah, it's like with, within a week or really close to it. That same time period. And I always know Rockstar's loves launching some of their games on October 26th. A bunch of their GTA tiles were released on October 26. Uh, San Andreas, mm. that one. I remember that one real clear. Yeah, I'm, I'm anxious to play the new uh, Red Dead. I've never actually played a Rockstar game. I think Red Dead is one of the <laughs> first games I actually got like 100% completion on everything. Back on the PS2. So you really liked it? Hell yeah. <laughs> For me, that would be like to complete the whole thing from beginning to the end. It had a wonderful story. Good memories, and the multiplayer was pretty cool too, just running around with cowboys and Indians. Friend was thought that should be interesting. Running around with a mule. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely one game I'm gonna get. So it kind of can carry me over to uh, Anthem. Check it out, because <coughs> back in February... <laughs> Ash. Oh shit, yeah. No, but during E3, I made a list of like games I wanted to get, games I wanted to do, like Let's Plays and all that stuff on my channel, and just expand on me. And mm -hmm. the revenue that I got cut and lost because of the new uh, monetization shit they did back in February, it went mm -hmm. over all the expenses. I want to have... Uh, I wanted to do a Sesame Odyssey, Fallout, Division 2, Cyberpunk, Athens. I'm reading the list off my whiteboard right now. And there was Red Dead as well. Oh, man. Fuck, 
fucking Logan. Yeah, we're in a lot of small YouTubers. Now, there's some good days I see the. Like, Imagine how much he was making. He's still making. What he did, it should have been a termination of his YouTube channel on that day. They didn't do it. He got a slap on the fucking wrist while everybody else is trying to keep their. He's still. Right. He's still going. Oh, okay. That's Damn. why a lot of people were pissed at him up for him. He was literally YouTube number one and like, yeah, since he's making bank from YouTube. Slap him the wrist. Don't do it again. Jeez. Where's the equality? Where's the, uh, the backbone of your policy? But you're going to screw over a lot of other people. Yeah, YouTube is so ripe to be taken over by a new competitor. Like, there's been so little innovation on their part and real emphasis on supporting it that it's just so hard to uh, you know, compete on a big scale like that now that's got so much traction yeah that's why I want to do more streaming than just leaving all the past stream stuff on my YouTube channel unless there's something different that's has the gain in popularity and like something so much of the monetization system that I can get revenue back. I'm trying to get into the, yeah. uh, what's it, the associate program on Twitch. I just need uh, a few more people watching me, you know, like beginning to end, like a week's time, and I will get that milestone unlock. And I can get a little tips with the bit oh, system. Mm -hmm. And mainly, I use Twitch to do the easy of the capture and upload straight to YouTube. It cuts down on the upload time because I have a bad internet, but now it's decent. It's double the speed what it used to be. Enemy tapping into civilian com traffic. We need to take out their uplink devices. Like I heard it's harder to earn on Twitch. Is that yes? True? It's a little harder, but you have to be committed. Like be on there on the daily. You can do like once a week. You gotta go full blown. Like, if you can, do like your eight hour stream a day. That's because they. That's because like the the uh, they expect you to like the viewers, mm -hmm. the type of viewers expect it. Yeah. Uh. For me earlier, a few years ago, I was putting in the like, good time. That's why I got like most of the like stuff check off that list to become like an associate partnership and all that. I just need like some of <laughs> like once again the followers, the viewers, the constant watch. But that was mm, yeah. a little bit tough because I didn't have that well of an internet. Sometimes I get disconnected because I was back then I was on Wi-Fi. Um, now I'm reworking. Oh yeah. I'm actually wiring a whole network, and sometimes I have to get like the, the cable I got, and I just run it from my room to the damn router. I want to actually snake it into the ceiling or snake it through the outside. And I have a little switch over here that has uh, all the systems connected in the laptop. Yeah, some of those people, they have like legit setups. Yeah, they have a whole room dedicated for that. I'm trying to do that. <laughs> like, damn. If I had the budget to do like little by little, and right now I just hit rock bottom rock zero in February. I have lost some um, over six hundred dollars in revenue. I'll tell you that, and it's tough. Jeez. And without that revenue, without getting new games and doing something new, I want to say I have to get a poor investment on what I'm doing right currently. Because I saved my money, I put it aside for Mass Effect, the new Mass Effect. This one, I'm drawing with you now, and I put that money aside years ago when I started doing like, oh, four things got to come out. And that was back mm -hmm. before. Uh, Five years ago, I want to say. And I'm like, alright, I'll just go along with like the next current game that my interest has a lot of popularity, and that was Destiny. And kind of like jump back and forth and get other games in between. Because I remember how somewhat. I completely. Yeah, that one took off. It took off great. Right? Uh, great enough for me to stay up. Uh, on stupid <laughs> Thursday, Friday morning nights, waiting for Zero to show up. It's like a special vendor that comes every week. Spam uh, or mm. shop exotics. It's like the ultra.
much rarer version. Of yeah, I heard that's a hard game um, to start old, to start new in because of the mm -hmm. the timed weapons. Like you can't walking. get access. Yeah, this yeah. is one thing I kind of don't like what they did this past year. Is they kind of like time gated and like event special stuff. There's not enough time in the day, and especially with the new DLC that they released, the uh, 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, what was it? Forsaken. It just upped the grind five forward, and I'm just trying to keep. Shh. Up. Now, there's a lot, a lot of new things to do, but it's hard to get up to a good level. It reminds me of the days of playing WoW. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm just stuck doing grinding, grinding games. <laughs> if I could get paid for Which, grinding, I mean, I'm you kind of have to like it, work. like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I like that. Yeah, because um, the the grind is worth when it. when the grind is worth it. Yeah, exactly. Um, mm. Yeah, especially since I tend to stick with a, a game like if it's really good or jump bad, around I different games. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Hence our position on Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> Definitely, good, man. We I all share never, that in common. <laughs> I have never achieved something like this ever in Mass Effect. Three in the multiplayer. I, yeah, I was in the top one percent, but I don't remember or recall where I was on the global board. I just kept on playing because I loved it. I didn't keep promoting mm -hmm. the characters to increase that rank. I just stuck with it. And I'm guessing, yeah, similar to the challenge on here. I know there was that score on there too, and that one's in the top one percent. I haven't checked on that in a while. Well, I heard so, that there's going to be a leaderboard on in Anthem. Um, not sure that's going to tie into anything. Um, I just think it's just those also, uh, strike missions that you go and co-op with your friends on like all the mm -hmm. accomplishments you've done. I think that's how it's going to be similar to it. What yeah, and I did hear that it's going to be ranked like you're going to have uh, more enemy or tougher enemy yeah, if you have increase the escalation. depending on the number of um, the number of uh, friends you have, or you know, teammates the you have in the, in, your party. in the game. Yeah. yeah. For me, that game. So that'd be good. I, I can't wait for that. Uh, you know, yeah. I hope. I'm trying to uh, the good Athens momentum. Have a beta it seems like it's got okay momentum. <laughs> uh, sorry to cut you off there, man. Oh no, no worries. <laughs> Well, yeah, they seem real iffy things. about the beta. Mm -hmm. oh. So hopefully it just we'll better than what, it, what happened with Mass Effect because <laughs> they really got to turn it around mm -hmm. and bring that back. To me, it was a stupid move like canceling the support and canceling the DLCs. To me, if they would have done an awesome DLC to save the story, like the Corian one, I was waiting for that. I thought... When I got to that point in the game, spoiling warnings for like towards the end after that boss encounter thing you want to call it, mm -hmm. I was really hoping to go out there and find that arc and just that was like going to be the end. You got your people there, and, like Mass Effect Five is colonizing Andromeda. To me, I hope they go on or moving on in that direction, or if the next installment is going to be like a prequel type of thing. Um, what's the name of the war? The contact war. Like a lot of people are like huh? brainstorming or doing like a prequel how Shepard became an N7. I'm like, to me, this is a good story. It's a good beginning. It kind of remind me how Mass Effect One came out. I thought the yeah, universe, I thought the ending was pretty good. good. Yeah. To me, it left open for more exploration because they like we did the the soldier thing. We did the the thing with Shepard. Now it's time for exploration yeah. with uh, Sarah and Ryder and all that. I just want to see how they do it on the next one. I just didn't like how ugly Sarah was. They fixed the faces. <laughs> that was like, oh, <laughs> like she, she was, was so like fucking <laughs> butt ugly. Like, oh, it was, like, it was horrible. Like, why does she look so fucked up? Alright, before I continue and just hashing that 
thing over and over again. Do what you guys do best. Hit me up with a comment down below. Leave a like. Don't forget to share the video. I really appreciate you if you do. And you catching that replay back on my YouTube channel, hit me a solid. Hit that sub and notification button for the daily content drop. And a special thanks for you guys watching live on Twitch. Staying up late, gaming all night. That's how we do. That's how we roll. I'll see you guys.